Has your DBA expired? Doing business as. Now most of us business people, we have that. We know we have a doing business as. You know, for mine, it's uh, doing business as the janitorialstore.com. Yours may be, uh, you know, uh, doing business as, you know, XYZ Cleaning Company. But in either case, the main thing is that we got to make sure that we always renew that because most states will require that we have to renew it every year or every few years. So that's very, very important. Make sure you put that on your calendar that we renew our DBA every year or when it's required. Now, many require that you also do a public notice uh, in the newspaper. And, uh, you know, there, there's a fee for that, uh, and that will vary depending on where you're at. But, uh, uh, you know, just make sure that you follow the, follow the rules and the laws and make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, now, you know, getting a DBA, uh, generally you've got to file a short application. And, you know, you'll go through that, uh, you fill out the application, you'll, you'll send it in, and then uh, the state will generally look to see if anybody else is actually using that name. Um, and if they are, then obviously you won't be able to file that DBA. But anyway, that would be the, that's the, more or less the process. You know, now some states require you to register with the uh, Secretary of State as well as your local uh, city clerk's office. Uh, so you make sure that you check that to make sure uh, that you, if, you have to, if you have to register with both that you do so because you don't want to just do one and not the other uh, only to find out that your application didn't go through because you didn't register with both. So make sure you check into that. Now, you know, the one thing is that if you stay on top of your DBA uh, expiration date and you renew it as, uh, uh, when you're supposed to, uh, you can use it as long as, as long as you like. So that's the real key is that as long as you keep an eye on that expiration date and you're renewing it, you'll be able to use it for you know, however long you want to use it. On the flip side of that, if it expires, another business or a person could actually come in and take that name and register it. And that means that you would have to change the name of your business, even if you had that name for years. So keep that in mind. You know, it's a simple thing to forget. Uh, and many people do, uh, and that's just something you don't want to want to forget about because if you've got an established business doing business as XYZ company, boy, you know you sure would hate to not uh, you sure would hate to lose that that name just because you forgot to register it uh, and renew your register. So I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. And uh, you're going to find a lot of uh, hundreds and hundreds of videos on our YouTube channel uh, with information just like this. Uh, very helpful. And, uh, you know, sometimes we talk about uh, topics that most people don't talk about, but they're things that the business owners, as yourself, as cleaning business owners, you need to know. And that's why I do the topics. I do some on finance, and yeah, that's boring. Nobody likes to watch them, but it's very important for your business that you know some of these things. So... Hopefully you'll, uh, if you like this, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, click on uh, the subscribe uh, button there. And uh, you'll be able to see hundreds and hundreds of more uh, videos uh, just like this one that will help you build a successful cleaning company. So until next time, we'll see you.